Hi everybody, hope you're all well. Um, Kasori have asked me kindly to review their um, pressure cooker. And it's not just a pressure cooker, it's a little bit more than that. It has nine in one functions, which I, I think is pretty, pretty darn good. I'm like, I really like the look of this. So I'm just gonna get it out of the box. Which should be fun. Right, let's have a closer look. So this is a Kasori electric pressure cooker at 5.7 litres. It's a 9-in-1 multi-cooker and steamer with 13 cooking functions and customizable, customizable settings. Am I even saying customizable? Right, yes I am. <laughs> um, the inside i mean we're going to get on to the inside but just on the outside these are like one click cook uh, cooking functions so you would have you've got oatmeal stew bean grain obviously meat or poultry rice steam and cake so and oh also slow cook saute and that saute is one of one of my favorite functions on these uh, multi cookers yogurt and sous vide, I think that's how you say that. I could be completely wrong. Um, obviously the pressure is the low and the high. Temperature set for um, possibly for the whatever temperature that you're setting it at, and it could probably go up and down. Keep warm function and a delay start. A delay start's really handy, especially if you're using the say the slow cooker uh, and whatnot. If you want to start a sort of early in the morning, I don't know. I mean, that's an interesting uh, uh, function. I like that. So I don't know if you've noticed there's this little orange dot. And if you move there and lift, you see there's a, a dot underneath. That's really clever because you just align that and the lid you can put the lid on and this is one of the really amazing things about this is that you can take the lid completely off i really love that so it's it's kind of once you align those two it's so easy to put take it off off and on brilliant and another really lovely function i like about this is this is the seal so it's vent and seal for the pressure cooker function um let's just remove that and what happens is when it's cooking in the pressure cooker function this little toggle valve thing will be high up and it's only when it goes below that that this line that you could open the lid and the steam comes out of here so i mean with the ninja uh one the the, the, the uh this this thing is right next to the to that and i i know that i you can get slightly splashed with very hot steam so this safety function, the distance, is brilliant. That's a really good um, what's the word? innovation. I really like that. So guess, let's open it up then. And look at this. I mean, I might have to move it slightly. So let me just put it down. The lid, the lid, the removable lid, I love. I really do. So let, let's just get that off for a moment. I just need to move the lid. Uh, right. So, can you see there? They've got this really handy little hole. <laughs> um, look, is that it in? Is that it in? Yeah, how cool is that? I mean, you can, that's really brilliant. You've got somewhere to put the lid when you're, if you're, say you're using um, the sear saute, or they just call it saute. So that's a really um, brilliant little thing. So you love your usual gump, just remove all of that. It comes with accessories, which is actually really good. I'm going to put you down again. Like for instance, this is a paddle, which is a really handy little thing, possibly for the rice, I'm not sure. Um, the, the booklet will probably say, and a, a spoon. And these are dishwasher friendly as well. And a measuring cup. That's very useful for cup measurements. What's it in? 
I think it might be in mil actually, yeah. So can you see that? Just about, yeah. So that's very handy. It also comes with a steamer rack. Bear with, bear with. So, well, yeah, a rack. But that's um, very useful as well. And the actual pot itself. Now, I really like this about the pot. So this aluminium pot, which makes it very light. I'm just to take the plastic off. This aluminium pot is uh, has a ceramic non-stick coating, which is free from PTFE and PFO4, which I don't actually know what that is. <laughs> um, and it's a uh, what's the quart? Six quart. And I'm not au fait with quart measurements, but it's 5.7 litres. So it's it's feels really lovely, good quality. It really does. It's got this lovely smooth feel um and a ceramic coating i mean that's that's pretty cool i do like that and i do like the fact that it has that there that's a nice little touch the heating thing and you obviously you must not you always use <laughs> the pot that's uh pretty obvious but look, look this is this is just ace that's such a good feature i do love that and i do love the fact that it's removable that's that's brilliant so yeah, there we have it. And we are gonna, I'm now gonna cook something up. Um, oh, in fact, out of this, because it it does come with little bump, pack, a packet of bump, I suppose you could say. Um, and because sorry, always kind of do a kind of nice little recipe book with their air fryers and uh, pressure cookers, etc. And there is a recipe in here, but just chicken fajitas we're gonna try, just test. So I've actually got the ingredients ready. Uh, a good user manual, which gives you all the things you need to do. So in fact, before I get started, I will give this a little wash out. Um, uh, but I'll do that off camera because I don't want to make the vlog too long. But it's got everything you need in terms of cooking functions, how to's, Possibly even a trouble, troubleshooting section, and we'll come to that. This is the saute function. Oh, in fact, that's quite useful. So with this, because I'm using the saute function, and as you know, I've covered my hob, so saute functions on these kind of multi-cookers is absolutely brilliant. Twist the lid anti-clockwise and lift to remove. Do not use the pressure cooker lid when using the saute function. So it seems to me that it says remove this completely. Remove the lid completely when you're sautéing. So I could just stick it to the side. You can also make yoghurt. Yeah, I mean, it's always a true feed. I'm ignorant on the old bat. Probably even pronouncing it wrong. Oh, right. So, oh, the vacuum sealed food safe bag. Um, submerged. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. If you can know how to do that sort of thing. So, sous vide, and I'm, God knows I'm probably mangling that pronunciation, is a method of cooking meat or fish in a vacuum sealed food safe bag submerged in water. You'll need tongs, a thermometer, and a resealable or vacuum sealed food pl safe plastic bag. Wow. Well, I, I will be safe to say that I probably won't cook like that because that sounds way complicated, but yeah. And the cake function as well i'd like to have a go at that that would be quite fun but for now we're going to be making using the saute function and just playing with it really oh it has a quick start guide as well which is handy and also what i really like about kasuri is they do have a like an online in fact it will come up here their um their app their app's great because you do have access to more recipes um and all that kind of stuff it'll be on the screen right now so yeah brilliant so let's get started i've got all the ingredients ready we're not going to be i'm not going to be going into the cooking method we're just going to chuck it in fry it cook the chicken fajitas um and just generally play with the the machine i mean it's fantastic i'm, I'm really quite excited so yeah let, i'll see you in a bit i'm gonna, just going to get everything lined up and i'll be back in a tick okay so 
I'm going from the recipe book, which has some interesting recipes in it. Just show you the um, list of recipes that are in the uh, in the recipe book. And we're having chicken fajitas. In fact, select, let's read what it says. Select the saute function on the soy pressure cooker and adjust the temperature setting to high. Then adjust the time to 18 min minutes and press start. Oh, okay. Right, let's cancel that and start again. So, select the saute function. Select high. Um, then adjust the time to 18 minutes. Okay. Okay. And then press start. All right. We're going to wait for it to preheat. Presumably it will come to temperature when this light starts to flash. So I'll be back in a tick. Oh, well, there you are, look. So I'm just going to add the onion. See if we can get you in a better position. of the inner pot. It's silky. It actually feels incredibly silky when you're cooking and the food sort of being moved around. I'm just going to let this cook off. One thing I did notice that this is really handy and I didn't know that you could do that was um, you can add or take away minutes whilst cooking. That's, that's good. I like that. Let this cook off before I add the peppers. I'm just checking. Chicken is cooked. And it's hitting, well, let me know, it's hitting high temperatures, nearly on 100. So that's, this is ready. I'm going to make, uh, well, the tortillas are. Can you see me? The tortillas are warming in the um, sorry dual blaze, um, and then I'm going to serve up and get on with a taste test. I I, I love that. I, th I think this is great. I really do. It'd be a fantastic addition to um, anyone's kitchen. Um, the removable lid, I love. I love the fact that you've got this little indicator. It just makes it really easy. There's no faffing, um, and you can ha put the lid. Um, you know up there it, to get it out of the way if you want uh, and the accessories look really good yeah it's fab I, I love it um, yeah I think we're going to serve up now because everybody's hungry but we're going to do the taste test first it's just a it's just taste yeah I mean it's cooked that's the main thing and it looks smells lovely and it's kind of fun to do a recipe out of that little recipe book so uh, next time I see you, we'll be in a, doing a taste test. See you in a minute. starving it's lunchtime but so I've added sour cream a bit of cheese to the fajita mix Ooh. and um, I've never made uh, fajitas with just the spices so that was quite fun to do that and I'm gonna serve up everybody else's but it's it's keeping warm mm. Mm. oh yeah what a lovely little pot. 
and it's a decent size it is meant to serve, serve four to six people which with the max up there the top I'd say that was bang on good 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 size and it's it's compact really handy for a small kitchen or in the corner of a large kitchen <laughs> mm. Well, great little machine, um, but th this would make really, this is just a great, great pressure cooker. I really do like it. I like the innovations, slight improvements to what the Ninja has. Safety wise, it has an overheat, overheat protection function, which is very good. That anti scalding with the old vent seal being away from the um, valve which is, is very good as well. Um, I, I do like Kasori air fryers the dual blaze is a brilliant air fryer but you know they're good quality they really are um built to last to be fair so yeah thank you very much Kasori for allowing me to have a go play with it I really uh, really enjoyed that thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you on the next one take care bye